Thank you for choosing Dash Inflatables and welcome to this setup and takedown tutorial. If you find yourself needing support during setup or takedown, please feel free to call at 289-931-3328. And please also feel welcome to pass our contact information along to others who may be looking for the perfect party activity. A couple of safety notes before we begin. We do ask that the bouncy castle be supervised by a responsible adult at all times and that you ensure that no more than five children be at the top of the tower at any time. If you are watching this video, then you've likely chosen our self-serve option and are preparing for the best backyard party your neighborhood has ever seen. This video must be viewed prior to picking up your rental, so let's get to our setup. The bouncy castle is approximately 16 feet wide. 50 feet long and 15 feet tall. You'll need to ensure that you have enough smooth level ground and no overhead obstructions prior to setup. We prefer that you set up on grass, but if you have to set up on pavement or concrete, please lay down the tarps that have been provided with your rental before rolling the castle off of the trailer. You may not set up the bouncy castle on gravel. You also may not add water to the bouncy castle. Once you have prepared the location, park the trailer at one end of the area. The bounty gets rolled off the right side of the trailer and cannot be dragged and moved after being taken off of the trailer. It's simply too heavy. Remove the ramps from the trailer and attach them to the side using the hinge pins provided. With two people, use the yellow straps to pull the bouncy castle off of the trailer down the ramp. Make a mental note that when it is time to clean up, you'll need to make sure these yellow straps are lying across the bottom of the trailer, hanging out the other side, so that they end up under the bouncy castle, ready for the next rental. Unroll the bouncy castle, straightening as you go. Any slight crumples or bends can be pulled out later while the castle is being inflated. After you have unrolled the castle, come back to the trailer. Fold back the castle to expose and remove the ramps. Place them back in the trailer and pull the trailer away. Now it is time to unfold the castle so that it lays flat. Again, remember for later, it's folded into thirds before being rolled up. You can now attach the blower to any of the blower chutes. Ensure that there are no twists or wrinkles in the chute and wrap the Velcro strap tightly around the opening. This can be adjusted later to maximize airflow. It's time to close up all of the remaining air release openings. Start by climbing into the bouncy castle and zipping up the two openings at the back of the slide tower. No shoes, please. You'll want to do these openings first because they will be too high to reach when the tower is inflated. Then walk around and ensure that all openings have been secured properly. A good seal at every opening is critical for achieving maximum air pressure and increasing the safety of the bouncy. As the bouncy castle inflates, walk around to ensure all openings are sealed, pull the walls up, and pull out any wrinkles to ensure the castle is sitting flat and straight. You are now ready to enjoy. Bounce away, my friend. Part 2. Take down and clean up tutorial. When you turn off the blower, the bouncy castle will begin to deflate immediately. You will want to unzip the air release openings at the back of the tower first and ensure that the tower falls straight down or straight back. If it is falling to the side, pull it to the center of the bouncy. Walk around and ensure that all of the walls are falling into the bouncy castle. If they fall out, you will not be able to roll the castle neatly into the trailer. At this point, all air release valves should be fully open. You may walk on the deflating bouncy castle to push out more air. Neatly fold the bouncy castle into thirds lengthwise. Now it's time to get all that excess air out. Engage your inner kid. Stop, drop, and roll that air out. 
beginning from the entrance side of the bouncy, farthest from the trailer, begin rolling the bouncy castle as tightly as you can. You really need to roll staying tight and straight. The better job you do at the beginning, the better chance you'll have of getting it up the ramp onto the trailer. This job can be done by two superheroes or three to four regular people. Roll the entire bouncy up on the ground in order to push out all of the air. Then unroll about 15 feet and fold the 15 foot tail end back over the rolled castle. Bring your trailer into position. You know you're in the right spot if the tail of the castle will flap back right up the ramp and onto the trailer. It's a good idea to pace this out before pulling in the trailer. The bouncy must align with the front of the trailer, leaving space in the back for the blower and the accessories bay. Once your trailer is in position, use the hinge pins to secure the ramps. Ensure that the yellow straps are lying flat across the trailer and hanging out the opposite side. Flap the tail back up the ramp and onto the trailer. Now, gather all of your strength and some friends and roll the castle up the ramp onto the trailer. When you are about halfway up the ramp, it may be helpful to use the ramp itself as a lift to leverage the castle into the trailer. Now, tuck the yellow straps under the castle, remove the ramps, and place them in the trailer and use the ratchet strap provided to tighten down the castle. Wrap up the extension cord, fold up the tarps, replacing these items back into the accessory bag and add the bag and blower to the back of the trailer. Return the bouncy castle to Dash Inflatables. Don't forget the trailer key. Thank you for your business. We hope you enjoyed the super slide and maze from Dash Inflatables. Feel free to tell others about your experience and pass along our contact information.